Hey guys, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So may bago na naman ang tip today and I'll be showing you how you could boost your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network on your PLDD Home Fiber Router. So wag na natin patagalin, let's get started. So first, shout out natin si Sarora TV for subscribing on this channel and also for requesting this tutorial. So, magbubukas na ng web browser natin. And I have here already the um, login page for our PLDT Home Fiber Router. And we're going to need the full admin access credential for our router. And if you don't know yet on how you could access that one, I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. So, I'll just log in my admin PLDT account. Again, magkaiba yung admin account and admin PLDT. And I have already enabled that on my Fiber Home Super Admin account. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go to this um, page right here. I'm going to put this link on the description and click on the download Wi-Fi channel scanner. It will take you to this Google Drive um, download page. Simply download that one and install it on your computer. Open it up and you'll be shown with this kind of interface. Just going to leave it like that. And uh, under the um, network tab, click on the basic settings. And we're going to select the frequency bandwidth to um, 40 megahertz. Depending on your, actually this option de depends on your setup. So if you're living on a residential area where maraming Wi-Fi networks and uh, other Wi-Fi devices, uh, I would suggest to just keep it to 20 megahertz to reduce interference between Wi-Fi networks. Kasi pag mas maraming uh, Wi-Fi networks or mas maraming congestions with Wi-Fi networks sa area nyo, uh, if you're going to set it to 14 megahertz, it could possibly overlap with other Wi-Fi channels which could result to interference and uh, sudden disconnection on your Wi-Fi network. But if you're on a uh, very minimal uh, Wi-Fi networks around your area, you could set it to 40 megahertz to increase the um, width of your Wi-Fi network to uh, have a longer range on your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. And for the frequency channel, we're going to choose which um, channel is the most less congested area. We're just going to select between one. 6 and 11. The reason between that one is uh, to avoid any overlapping um, between channels. So we're going to open the Wi-Fi channel scanner right here and click nyo lang yung adapter nyo and you must have a, a wireless adapter on your computer or your laptop. You could also use your mobile phone by installing a Wi-Fi analyzer app. I will make a different um, tutorial for that one. And what you have to just simply do is click on the adapter and click on your Wi-Fi icon right here and you will search for Wi-Fi networks. And as you can see, dito nakalagay lahat yung mga channels that are currently being used by different Wi-Fi networks. Channel 1, Channel 9, Channel 1, Channel 9. For this other 72 channel, these are 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. Kaya masyadong malayo siya compared to the um, 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. So as you can see, the least used channel is 11. So we're just going to select the frequency channel to um, 11. We're going to set that one to 11. Again, this um, option may vary depending on your setup. Kaya natin to in-install tong Wi-Fi channel scanner para malaman natin kung anong channel yung best para sa ating Wi-Fi network. After natin malaman kung ano yung best frequency for our 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, select lang natin yung apply button. You only have very few Wi-Fi networks around your area. You could set that one to 40 MHz to increase the range of your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Next, we're going to go to the Wi-Fi control. Under the Wi-Fi control, you will be able to see the Wi-Fi power control. Set natin to to um, 100%. Don't uh, set this one to 200% because again, it would cause interference between Wi-Fi networks. So I would suggest to just keep it to set as 100 and make sure to hit the apply button. Next, we're going to go to the LAN settings. So LAN settings in the broadband settings and under the um, DHCP service, Click, click nyo tong server could possibly be disabled but most probably by default it's um, enabled and set to the server and under the primary dns we're going to set that to 1.1.1 .1 .1 and 
And for the secondary DNS, 8.8.4.4, may mga nagsabi na bakit ko sinaset different with uh, two different DNS servers instead of using one uh, DNS server. It's because if in case na mayroong karoon ng failure yung uh, secondary DNS server, mas mararesolve yung mga DNS requests natin. Hit the apply button once done. And you can now log out the um, on the uh, router, and you go ahead and restart your PLT on fiber router. So that's basically it. that's my um, tip on how you could boost your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network on your PLT home fiber. So if you, this video helped you, don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below and like this video. And if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet, click that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So till then. See you again on my next video.